can't believe I'm saying this, but this is essential viewing for any movie fan. Chippendale Rescue Rangers is the newest Disney Plus original movie and it stars Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. 30 years after their popular television show ended, Chipmunks Chip and Dale live very different lives. When a cast member from the original series mysteriously disappears, the pair must reunite to save their friend. To be completely honest with you, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie. I did not grow up with the original Chip and Dale TV show. I've never seen a single episode, actually. It was just a little bit before my time. But then getting closer and closer to the release of the movie, I heard very good things and that kind of piqued my interest. And I found myself checking out the movie and man, did I have an absolute blast with it. It's one of the biggest surprises of the year by far and it's such a fun movie. The real reason why I said this is an essential watch for any movie fan is because this movie has cameos galore. I would say within each and every single frame, every single shot in this entire movie, it has little easter eggs here and there that I probably missed, but watching it I tried really hard to just look and see what was around the characters. And there's a bunch of obviously Disney easter eggs as this is a Disney movie, but there's also just movie references. I don't want to get into spoilers because I highly recommend you go into this movie not knowing any of the spoilers for the cameos. But there's a Jurassic Park reference, there's a reference to Kung Fu Panda, and some of these references literally have characters from other movies and other properties which is just baffling to me as to how Disney could do that. But they're arguably the biggest company in the world so. And while I'm shocked as to how Disney got all the licensing and stuff like that, I'm surprised that they even greenlit this movie. I mean, this movie is making fun of Disney. Like, there's a lot of deep stuff in here that if you go into like research and stuff like that, you'll find some pretty interesting things as to specific characters, especially Peter Pan. It's just crazy to me that Disney would let this movie get made and they were like, okay, we're not gonna give you the movie theaters, but we're gonna give you Disney Plus. But that's okay for me. It's literally just making fun of Disney. And tying into that, this movie is absolutely hilarious. I would say that within the first five minutes, I was laughing, and this is laugh out loud funny moments. Then probably until the final shot of the movie, I was just laughing. Part of it was laughing at all the jokes that the Chip and Dale were making, or the references to other movies and like Disney inside stuff. Like if you're a fan of Disney, this movie is just like right up your alley. It knows exactly what kind of movie it wants to be, and it just lets you have fun, but it also tells a nice sweet heartfelt message at his core. This is really touching message of getting back with old friends and reconnecting after a divide. As at the beginning of this movie, Chip and Dale are separated because of an argument they got into. And over the course of the movie, you obviously what happens, but it's just about reconnecting with fellow friends. The big standout was definitely the OMG I know those people moments. And I might argue that the movie doesn't necessarily work all too much with out that stuff, but it definitely is the highlight of this movie. Without it though, it does have a nice crime story too, similar in the vein of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and this is kind of a spiritual sequel to that. It has the obviously live action mixture of CGI and animation, but I actually like this movie more than that one. The writing is witty and fairly original. This movie comes to us from The Lonely Island, which if you don't know is a music group involving Andy Samberg and the director of this movie. They write a lot of comedic songs, and they're just really talented guys, and that that just shows in this movie. Andy Samberg as well as John Mulaney are great as both Chip and Dale voicing these characters but they also bring their great comedic timing and just funny quips and jokes that are just filled throughout the movie. This movie is very on the nose but that works in its favor. Like I mentioned how it references other Disney properties and it's just really making fun of it. And I will say the movie works so much better because of how funny it is and all the easter eggs you can look for. Again nearly every shot has something but it's just the tiniest thing there's something for just like people to pause, look at, and then play every single shot. I was genuinely entranced from start to finish. I absolutely loved it. There is something for all audiences to enjoy here. Whether you're a kid and you see one of your favorite characters from Disney, or you're an adult and picking up on little things that your kid might have missed, it is so funny. I can't say that enough. It's a real blast at just a little over 90 minutes. That's great runtime. Doesn't overstay its welcome. Cameos galore, there is something for any movie fan to find. The writing and the voice cast and a bunch of actors who are big surprises, just love seeing all that. This is coming from someone who had no attachment to Chip and Dill. I have no nostalgia for any of that. I still thoroughly enjoyed it. And I do want to give Disney a big bravo for just making this movie. Massive props to them. I want to give Chip and Dill Rescue Rangers a B plus. 
I cannot recommend this movie enough. I highly suggest you go check it out on Disney+. Plus. Thank you so much for watching this review, and if you did enjoy it, consider giving it a like as well as subscribing and hitting that notification bell to get notified whenever new videos like this go live. We've got a big week of content coming to us next week, so make sure to keep your eye out for that. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.